Tell those kids to shut up. Me. Dude, I'm sick of kids yelling in my videos. What do you mean? I can't help it. I can't take it anymore. Two, one, go! Again, we're right next to a road, as usual. Uh, first off, what's most important about today is that the Penguins won last night. The second most important thing, happy Mother's Day to every mother out there. And guys, today we are doing a food review at one of my favorite places to eat, PJ's Barbecue USA. It's really good food. Growing up in Virginia, every time we would come up here to visit, we would come here, we'd spend a load of money, get a ton of food, and it all tastes good. Today I'm thinking about trying something different. I want to get as many foods as possible while here so I can try a little bit of each. Basically this place, you know, they started I believe in like the 60s. Don't quote me on that, I didn't do too much research. But then in 2012, they decided let's go full on barbecue. They have a restaurant, inside seating, outside seating, they have a bar. They're loaded with Bill's memorabilia. They even have a Bill's flag over there. So it'd be cool to watch a Bill's game here. Uh, over here it looks like, uh, if you want to show them, meats on there. I don't know, maybe it's just for decoration. I hope you guys can hear me. And I'm really excited today to get their Loganberry juice. It's one of my favorite juices and it used to only be sold here and this is one of the only places you can find it. They did originate it here. So with that being said, let's head inside. Let's try some food and get filled up so I can go home and watch some more hockey. <laughs> have something that I've been waiting for for a long time, the famous Loganberry soda drink. So it's a mixture of raspberry and blackberry, and it used to only be sold here at PJ's. The person who, you know, started this place actually invented this drink. It's so good. My parents actually brought it down from New York one time when I was in college. They brought it to my college. I liked it so much. They got me a big two liter, and I savored that for as much as possible. So one, two, three, four, take a sip, rate the score. Loganberry PJ Saratoga. And it's not a soda, it's actually like a juice. And it's a 10 out of 10. I can't explain how good it tastes. <laughs> So the cool thing about PJ's is they have all these sauces and you can get as much as you want. They're all free and we're going to do them in order. I have all five sauces right here in front of me and we're going to dip curly fries in them and see which one tastes the best. The first one is Texas hot sauce and this one's for you, John. I love Texas. I love hot sauce. Let's see. These are all homemade here. Not too hot, creamy. It's not runny. I like hot sauce that's not runny. The runniness just isn't, it's not fun to deal with. All right, I have all these written down. So second, North Carolina mustard. So Kyle, this one's for you, man. I'm sure you had some of this when you were living down there, growing up in North Carolina. So let's see, one, two, three, four, take a bite, rate the score. I forgot to say that the first time. We tried this? No, I'm, I was sweet. waiting for you to do all this stuff. Okay, so that one's sweet. That one's pretty good. I like spicy mustard more, not bad. But um, we're going to move on to Tennessee Whiskey Sauce. Okay, Tennessee Whiskey Sauce. One, two, three, four. Curly fry. Take a bite. Rate the score. Tennessee Whiskey. Tennessee Whiskey. That's got a unique flavor. I'm going to take another bite of that. Unique. That's pretty good. It's really sweet. Ooh, really? Really sweet. So for the fourth, we're doing Kansas 
sweet sauce. I think this is on the ribs that we got here. Mm -hmm. So let's try this Kansas sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, take a bite right score. I think the sauce before that was sweeter, still good. They're all really good so far. And last but not least, the original hickory. Not much of a hickory flavor kind of guy, but one, two, three, four. Take a bite, rate the square hickory sauce. That's surprisingly tasty, but out of all of them, my favorite is the hot sauce. I just love hot sauce with almost everything I eat. They have a little special today. It's spicy mustard. I've been told it's super spicy, so let's try it. One, two, three, four. Take a bite, rate the score. Spicy mustard. That bite, oh my gosh, that bites your tongue. My sinuses are cleared. I've been sick lately. I don't think I'm sick anymore. <laughs> Coughing. That's a little too spicy. That's more spicy than the hot sauce, but it's good. I like that. My favorite is still the Texas hot sauce. John, you guys win down there. Well, John's in Florida now, but you Texas guys win, Micah. We are going to interrupt this review at PJ's to show you my buddy Brandon Bicep's review of some pizza that he made last night over, I believe, a bonfire. So, Brandon, give us your rating of your pizza. Dean, welcome back to Get Real Vlogs. We have a <laughs> piece of no pizza <laughs> from Stewart's right here that we just cooked on a that's fire. So it's a that's wood fire Stewart's. pizza, that, but it's from, from Stewart's. It is from Stewart's. So it's from Stewart's and then cooked on the wood fire. I'm gonna give it the test. Ready? One, two, three, four. Take a bite. Rate the score. Ah. It's two out of ten. That's so good. <laughs> I give it an 8.3 because it's not spicy and there's no like pepper on it or anything. Like, there's no All like right, oregano or parsley. Let's give this that's crust cool. a shot. Very crispy, Ooh. very flavorful crust. I give the crust a 9 9.8. Nine, go to Stewart's, get some pizza, have a fire crust. with your friends, cook the pizza on the. So guys, I ordered one of the Barbecue USA's platters. You get three choices of meats, so I chose ribs, their chicken, and their brisket. And I usually don't get brisket. It's Texas brisket, it's New York chicken, and it's Kansas City ribs. So I'm excited. I love ribs, I love chicken, I love meat, I'm a carnivore. I'm on a carnivore diet, and we're going to try all those. I got curly fries so I can dip them in all their signature sauces. There's like five or six of them. I got some mac and cheese here. Love mac and cheese. Comes with some cornbread. And I had to get another meat. I got uh, a pulled pork slider. So we're gonna try that. Maybe with some, one of their signature sauces on. I'm so excited to try this. I have not been here in forever. Let's go. Okay, so we made it through all the sauces. We are gonna try the little portion here of mac and cheese. Not much here, which is kind of disappointing, but I got a lot of food here. So mac and cheese is one of my favorite foods, guys. It's up there with pizza and burgers. So one, two, three, four. Take a bite, rate the score, not the plastic, mac and cheese, PJs. Uh, not the best mac and cheese I've ever had. It's decent, kind of cheesy. They're probably just making so much today because it's Mother's Day, but we're going to have to give that like a 6.2. It's not that great. And we'll cook these again low and slow, 12 hours on the fork shoulders at around 220 degrees. And we get to pull it. So guys, we're gonna now try the pulled pork. In high school, I dated this girl who worked at a pulled pork place. So I got it all the time. It was really good, but I got sick of it. But I've never had PJ's pulled pork. I don't really eat it that often. I'm hoping it's got a little kick to it. I got the vinegar sauce on it. I'm gonna try one bite, plain. And then since we tried all the sauces, I think the mustard sauce would be good on it. I'm going to try that with the mustard sauce. So one, two, three, four, take a bite, rate the score. Plain slider. Oops, sorry. It's actually really good. It's actually really good with, without the sauce on it. I might want to eat it plain, but I'll take one little bite with the sauce on it. It's actually some of the best pulled pork I've ever had. And like I said, guys, I don't get pulled pork that much because it's not one of my favorites. But let's try it with the mustard North Carolina sauce. One, two, three, four. Take a bite. Rate the score. Let's go. Mm. 
I like it better without the sauce. I'm literally gonna give this sandwich like a nine out of 10, it's that good. Comes with a little bit of cornbread, not a huge cornbread guy. The butter's hard as a rock, it's not even coming off, so put a big chunk on it. One, two, three, four, take a bite, rate the score. Cornbread with butter. I don't know what kind, but whatever. Don't those kids just shut up. Dude, I'm sick of kids yelling in my videos. What do you mean? I can't help it. I can't take it anymore. But, yeah, it's cornbread, guys. I'm not a cornbread guy. I can't even give it a rating. Mom, give it a rating. Take a bite. Okay. Hurry. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Take a bite. Rate the score. Go. Amateurs. Um, oh, five or six. Five or six. Yeah. Doesn't taste good, guys. Get up here on our chop station. It's a whole brisket, so what we do now is we separate the moist from the lean. The moist being the point on top, and the lean being the flat on the bottom. So we just run our knife through the fat layer between the moist and the lean, and we just kind of pull it apart. And so you've got your lean flat here, and you've got your moist point here. Okay, we are moving on to our second meet, the Texas brisket. John, I hope you guys down in Texas, Michael, you guys, hope you guys do it well. I didn't get to get Texas barbecue, so I'm getting it here in New York. And I don't get brisket often. I actually never get brisket. So, one, two, three, four, take a bite, rate the score, Texas brisket, no sauce. I'm glad I'm not as sick as I was so I can actually taste the food. It's pretty good. It melts in your mouth. I don't really know how to rate brisket because I don't get it, but I think it tastes good. We're going to give it like a seven. In halves. The halves go two and three quarters, three pounds fresh, and they've been marinating. It's a version of the uh, Cornell recipe, which is basically uh, oil, cider vinegar, salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, and egg. It was developed at Cornell. Okay, New York style chicken. This is in New York. These people are from New York. Let's see how New York does chicken. Don't think I've ever had New York chicken. I didn't even know chicken was a thing in New York. So, no sauce on it. We're going to do a regular taste test. One, two, three, four. Take a bite, break the score. Let's go. I know they smoke their chicken. Yeah, they smoke their chicken. They get high off of it. They smoke their chicken. Um, that was a stupid joke. Uh, I mean, it's nothing special about it. It's good. I don't taste any difference than what I would in Virginia. It still gets an eight, though. It's really good. We cooked the ribs for about two and a half hours. Low and slow at about 250 degrees. They cook on these racks in the smoker. The smoker is fueled by hickory wood. So we're getting a good hickory wood smoke flavor imparted in the ribs. And it also creates a very tender meat. And last but not least, the best for last, we got the Kansas City ribs. I love ribs, but they're always so expensive, so I never get them out. But Kansas City, this one's for you, Jackson Mahomes. One, two, three, four. Take a bite, rate the score. Kansas City ribs, and the difference between Memphis ribs and Kansas City is Kansas City has a sauce on it. Memphis, I think, is just like a dry rub. So here we go. good not great I would not wow to buy it I honestly think the best was the pork today the pulled pork I'm next time I come back I'm gonna get that and the chickens good too everything's good but nothing like where I'm gonna go like oh my gosh so yeah uh, it's good we're gonna give it like a 7 out of 10 the ribs were pretty good I have to end the food review with a dessert so we got the Oreo McFlurry, my favorite McFlurry. I used to beg my mom and dad to get this for me when I was younger. And miraculously, the ice cream machine was not down. So guys, McDonald's sponsor me. One, two, three, four. Take a bite, rate the score. Oreo McFlurry, McDonald's. Haven't had one in forever. Let's see if it's changed. Still as good as it was when I was a kid. 10 out of 10.
Okay guys, so I've been watching so much hockey, I decided to switch it up a little bit. I just turned on Chris DiStefano's comedy special that just came out on Netflix. If you don't know who he is, he's a comedian. He was on MTV for a while. So I tweeted at him that I was watching it. I took a picture of me watching it, and he immediately retweeted it, and then tweeted at me. And it's been about 20, 30 minutes, and 10,000 people have already seen it. I think it's so cool that he tweeted me, because he's literally my favorite comedian. I listen to his podcast every single week. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Get Real Vlogs, and I just looked on the sign. It actually says 1984, so maybe this establishment was 1984. I read online that they started way before that. But overall, everything was really good. The brisket was the big surprise of the day. Really tasty. The sauces were really good, but the most disappointing thing today was the chicken. I usually always get that and always like it. Today, it just wasn't hitting the right way. But overall experience, we're going to give it a 9.2 out of 10. It's always good here. The food always tastes great. And I'm sure they can redeem themselves with the chicken. Hopefully, I can come back someday for a Bills game. Just, you know, enjoy the experience. And I was getting a few looks wearing this Penguins jersey being in New York. We are playing the Rangers. And can't wait for their game tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Give Me a Vlogs. Catch you next time. Peace.